Hello comic book fans, my name is David. Today I'm going to be reviewing World's Finest issue number one, written by Paul Levitz, art by George Perez, Kevin McGuire, and Scott Gablish. I'm sorry that I butchered his name, but sometimes these names can be damn hard. So in this, uh, one of the things I gotta say straight off the back is that I do not like the uh, way that they had the logo of the World's Finest in this book. I don't like the cover. But one of the things I gotta say though is that in the cover you see Power Girl's new outfit and I like it. It's not about the sex appeal anymore. It's about her as a character and not about her boobs. I like that. Even though I like cleavage, I just don't like it how much they had it with her. Even though in this issue you do see her sex appeal in there. But I just like how they changed the outfit. So in this issue we start off with Power Girl and Huntress in a in a restaurant talking about their powers or talking about what they're going to be doing next. And I love how you see everyone around there looking at them like, oh, I'm more interested in this conversation that's going on over here than the people I'm actually talking with. I like that. And George Perez does 13 pages of this book and they are fantastic. He is definitely the rock of this book and his art Ugh, it's just great. Especially the way he could just vague emotion just when people are just talking just to each other and just make everything so interesting where a bunch of artists can just make it feel so stale. He That's where he thrives. And I love that because Paul Levitz is working with his artist's his strength and that is great. And uh, Kevin McGuire, he does the backstory of what happened in World, Fi in World um, 2 where Power Girl, formerly known as Robin, and Supergirl go into a boom tube to chase after a guy and they find themselves in World 1, World Prime, whatever you want to call it. And just interesting to see how Power Girl and Huntress come out of that and who they become in this new world. And will they get back into World 2? I don't know. But it's so interesting though to see how intertwined the whole DC Universe has become. I mean, with the new DC Universe, every book feels like it's part of a world. There's part, and you don't get that with some comics. Some comics, it feels like the comic is just its own world, where this, where all the DC lines have felt so intertwined. And I love that about this, about the whole DC Universe, all DC reboot. I mean, you cannot get better than the art and the writing and just everything about this book. If you're a comic book lover and you want something new and something fresh, and I love how even though it's not any of my favorite characters, these two hold up this book so well. I would highly recommend it. It's my pick of the week. You cannot get any better than World's Finest. Thank you. My name is David. And if you like these reviews, there's going to be a lot more coming. And thank you for watching. Have a good night.